Hi, I'm Matthew Malcolm with American Vineyard Magazine, reporting to you from Schledwitz Farms here in Sanger, California. And here the UC Cooperative Extension held a grower tailgate meeting on managing mealybugs in the vineyard. And Chris Tollerup from the UC Cooperative Extension discussed the relationship between ants and mealybugs and how to obtain control over mealybugs through ants. Lots of different options, lots of different uh, uh, pesticides available for vine mealybug control. Very, very important in the system. But there's something that we really need to concentrate on as researchers and, of course, you, you growers out there, is, is ant control in the system. It, it, is an, it is a system. What happens is those vine mealybug will overwinter in the soil. They'll come up, and ants will facilitate that happening. Out here, there are, there are three species. There's two Solenopsis species, and there's a big, beautiful ant, I call it, is the native gray ant, Formica errata. And those are the primary ones out in this vineyard and in a lot of vineyards I've seen. And if we could completely eliminate all of the ants in this vineyard, we would have a far less problem with vine mealybug, mealybug in general, because the natural enemies could then be very, very effective. How do we monitor for ants? You want to know pretty much what species you have. So there's some very, very high-tech methods we can use. One is Fritos corn chips, which are very, very effective at monitoring the, the Solenopsis species. And this is not a plug for, for corn chips, but it is very effective. You, and bologna. The cheaper, the better. Get yourself some vials, rip off a piece of bologna, and set it down uh, in, underneath a vine. And, and just for 24 hours, otherwise the animals will come and get it. And this, it, you can see the, the, the large Formica errata will feed on this bait. And the smaller Solenopsis species, the, the uh, Solenopsis xyloni and the Solenopsis molesta, will come after these freedoms. So that's where you can monitor for the ants. In your that big Formica rod is one that you're going to primarily see on the baloney. Lohr's ban at this point is the only effective control measure. Again, DPR has restricted that material. You can't use it now when it would be very, very effective. Early in the season, you can knock down some of the population, but it breaks down, those ants come right back. With the other ants, the Solenopsis species, the baits, either Altrovin or the Esteem, my recommendation is early June, when that colony is building up, it's starting to, to build up uh, um, larvae in, in the colony, and they bring that bait in and feed it to the, to the larvae. And then those larvae process, help process that bait, then that toxic is spread through the colony. And that's how that trophallaxis, or that food sharing behavior, is exploited in, in, in bait control. With, with, with surface, uh, like with Lohr's band, you're only killing those ants that that material touch, or, or those ants come in contact with. Um, and so, and then that residual breaks down. But with a bait, you're really going after the, the, the head of the colony, which is the queen. So the take-home message is that to get really very, very effective vine mealy bug control with the insecticides, ant control should be an integral part of your control scheme. I believe that most growers at this point are kind of like concentrating on the vine mealy bug without really looking at the ant species that are there and how can I control those ant species. You get a bigger bang for your buck, with those insecticides controlling vine mealybug if you go after the ants as well. Thank you, Chris. Learn more about ant and mealybug control on the coming issues of American Vineyard Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.